back in town Don't I read out Baby, don't make me wait Body like, uh, uh Been a long while And I just wanna taste Let's be alone I put it down When I come around Hi, hey you guys. Welcome back to Talkin' Smack. I have my sister here. She's my favorite person in the world. This is Lulu. She is... Honestly, she's just the best. I don't even know how to introduce you other than you're my sister and you're awesome. Thank you. So I think we're just going to get right into it and ask these questions. One of our guys brought these question cards and they're pretty funny. So you'll be able to get to know us pretty quickly. (laughs) And then we have some other topics that we'll go over, but we'll get right into it. Do you want to ask first or do you want to answer first? I'll ask first. Okay. Oh, this is good. Okay. Okay. If I didn't have my current job, what do you see me doing? Oh, you? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, Lulu is in school to become a cosmetologist, and she's rocking it. Like, she's killing it doing hair. And so right now, I feel like that's really hard for me to not see you doing that. Um, I feel like I could see you honestly being an influencer and, like, doing things with, like, clothing and outfits, and, like, you're really good at – It's funny like design too so i feel like i could see you oh i could feel like i could see you being an interior designer i knew you're gonna say an that. interior designer say that. and like putting things together also i would love you to make over my house can you do that at some yeah, point please been saying that i know you like need to it's bad three years fix it okay well okay wait there's another good one on this one too okay go ahead what's something i do that you hate something you <laughs> do that i hate yeah Ooh. that one's um, a really good one that's a tough one Something you do that I hate. I feel like I could never hate anything that you do. I feel like when we fight, I hate that, obviously, which is not often. But when, I don't know. Yeah. Wait, I have it. When you pick out your lashes. Okay. No, no. Yes, no, that no. counts. I you don't even do my lashes anymore. That doesn't count. It doesn't matter. I still hate that you pick them out. Sorry. Well, is there something that I do that you hate? Um, I know there's probably a long list. I feel I like I irritate one, you way more than you irritate no, no, me. No, 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 no. The first one I think of is like just, I love you, but you're just so slow. Like, <gasps> oh like eating, God. you like are always the last one. <laughs> Telling a story fucking takes like three <laughs> whole minutes. Like it should just be quick. Yeah, just things like that. It's just like, it's just funny. We're just, I think it's like great though because we're so different. Yeah. But it's funny because I don't hate it. It's just like, that's just how it we're different. I knew Almost. you were going to say because I'm slow. I know. I know. I always say it. I feel like some, but it's not a bad fast. thing. It's not a bad thing. Just who you are. <laughs> no worries. Okay. No you, worries. Ask, you ask something. Um, what do you wish you were as good at as me? Oh my gosh. Um, I think like, okay. I always say like, you're like so patient and I'm like, so not like, not at all. Like, I'm, like, so, like, if I'm, like, okay, I want to do this, like, I'm going to do it, like, as soon as I can, where I feel like you're really, like, level-headed and very patient with what you do, and I don't know. Like, if something upsets you, you're really, really, like, emotionally intelligent to understand that it's, like, not the end of the world, Thank where, like, you. I'm, like, oh, my gosh, this is literally the end of the world. Like, we're just, like, different in that way. Mm-hmm. So, I think emotionally, you're very smart, and I'm very emotional and sensitive, so I feel like... I look up to you a lot in that way because you really know, like, like the things that, like, bother me, like, aren't that big of a deal. So, like, if that happened to you, you'd just be like, okay, letting it go. Like, it doesn't matter. It's not going to ruin my day. Like, I'm not going to let it. That's, that's, I feel like the biggest point is, like, if something inconvenient happened to you, you wouldn't let it hurt, like, ruin your day. You wouldn't Mm -hmm. let it hurt you. You'd move on. You'd be able to just, like, move past it where I, like, feel like I hold on to a lot of things. So I really wish I could be more like that. Well, do you feel like, like that's something that you can learn? Because I I wouldn't say I was always that way. Like I remember back to times in high school where I would let something like derail my whole day. And honestly, it wasn't until yeah. after having a conversation with dad and him being more like, hey, like if you can't control something, yeah, there's no don't. point in you yeah. fussing over it. And I feel totally. like I that was a learned trait. Like that was something that – I didn't always have. Like, do you think that's something that, like, over time or as you get older? I mean, we're six years apart, which is not, like, that big in a grand scheme of things. But I think of where I was at 22 versus where I am now almost 28. Like, I feel like that's something that you can learn, too. Yeah. 
No, definitely. I mean, I think it's true. <laughs> Just like, we'll work I mean, on I can it. Definitely, yeah, we'll work on it. I'll get there maybe one day. Okay, I want to answer that one for you. Like, what do you wish you were as good at as me? I wish I was better at being more opinionated and like so – no, like in a I good know. way, like so true to like what I thought. I think – Part of me is like so hell bent on being open minded that I'm like, well, I need to see all the different perspectives and I need to like put myself in other people's shoes that it's sometimes hard for me to have like a really strong stance. Obviously not on everything, but like on certain things, I really try to like understand every other person's perspective. And I think that's something I really respect about you is you're like, nope, this is what I believe. This is what it is. And like, this is like not okay or like this is what I believe and I feel like that's really cool I feel like definitely yeah I feel like there's like lately I feel like the last like maybe two years too I feel like it's more so like I'm not trying to be selfish but like it's almost like I know what I deserve yeah and like I know what like hurts me I know what like benefits me and like I'm just like I'm so like transparent to be like okay you're not a good friend done like like Mm -hmm. I love you but, like, I can keep that distance, and I feel like that's, like, a big thing, too. And I just think I can be very opinionated, which can be a bad thing, <laughs> and sadly. But I think it's more so, like, I know – like, I, I think that is, like, me being emotional, like what I said earlier. Like, I'm very emotional. I'm very sensitive. So a lot of things that, like, hurt me probably wouldn't upset you as much. Yeah. And so, like, for me, I'm like, okay, I don't want that in my life. I don't – you know, like, I don't, I don't need that. So I'm, like, just done. Like, I'm, like, closed off to it immediately. Mm-hmm. I'm, like, okay, that's just, like, this is my opinion. I'm over it. Yeah. You know, letting it go. But I feel like you do do that just, like, differently. Mm-hmm. Like, almost, like, I feel like a lot of it comes from, like, relationships for me. Yeah. Like, I, I have been very lucky to have a lot of different friends. But, like, you outgrow a lot of people. And I feel like that's where, like, I become very opinionated because I'm, like, what do you add to my life? And is this mm-hmm. a healthy friendship? is this a healthy relationship? Like, no. Okay. Like we're done, you know, like, and not even like, okay, bye. But like almost like this isn't benefiting us. So this is like my opinion. This is like how, what I need for me. And then that's just like where we go from there. Well, and that's huge. Cause like when you think about it, you're only 22 and for you to have those views on things is like so huge because a lot of people make it till 30 before they realize like, Oh, these people that I'm surrounding myself actually affect the trajectory of my life. And I feel like that's such a huge thing. I mean, it's been said in so many books and so many different podcasts, but you're the sum of the five people you spend the most time with. And it really is so true, like mentally, spiritually, physically, everything. Emotionally. Emotionally. I know. I feel like I just like leave that one off. I don't know how that happened. Like, I feel like you and Jake are pretty emotional, like not in a bad way, but but I feel like that's not a bad thing. Like I'm not at all. And I have no idea how that ended up happening. But that's also not a bad thing. Like, that's just like how we are. And I think that's probably why we get along so well because I think if you and me were the same we'd butt heads all the time yeah and I think that's why we like do have like a really really good relationship because we'd probably fight even more <laughs> no we would <laughs> we would can you imagine if both of us were emotional no oh yeah no we'll be bad okay right. do you have some good ones um I have a good one if you don't okay yeah you go okay you get to travel back in time to warn me about one thing what would it be um oh gosh I don't even know to warn you to warn me about one thing can't think of any one thing (laughs) shut up (laughs) um I don't think I can say it (laughs) no 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 you can say it no I think like you know what I'm thinking right now (laughs) but I like I'm not gonna say anything okay yeah Okay, Maybe yeah. later. I'll tell you later. No, I know. That's good. Okay. Um, I don't know. I feel like this is like an easy one for you, but describe my perfect life partner. Have I been on the right track to find this person? Your perfect life partner? Yeah. Chase Q. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> He's That's literally the best. Like, I, I feel like you guys are like watching your relationship. How long have you guys been together now? 
six years i think you guys are literally so cute and honestly like being able to see you guys together and i don't spend a lot of time with you but the times that we've gone camping just to see the way you guys look at each other the way you treat each other like if you're like frustrated or like upset about something he's just so calm and just there for you and like i think it's so cool how he validates every single feeling you have and like acknowledges you and i don't ever see him being like you're being ridiculous or like you're crazy like i'm yeah, sure like when he's we- always back yeah me. like yeah. and i think that's such a huge thing yeah. to have in even someone. when i'm like wrong he's like yes like <laughs> you, you're right you're right you got it well and that's what like, you thanks. need like that's yeah. what you need in someone and i think like he's just honestly he's just so sweet and like you can yeah. tell how much he loves you and you can tell how much you love him and i think it's just so cool and especially to like like I remember one time we were camping and I was looking for something for him in one of his duffel bags and I saw that he had his Bible in his duffel bag and I was like Chase brings his Bible and I think you didn't even know that he had it yeah and I I think that's something that's I mean important to both of us to Mm -hmm. like have that faith um you know in a partner and I just think you guys are so honestly just so sweet and like I just can't say enough Mm -hmm. good things about him and just like he's athletic and he like wants to go do fun things with you and it's like and I cracks me up like the cutest video I had ever seen like we're gonna stitch this into the YouTube part of it because it was the cutest video you guys went fishing together and you caught a fish and I was like this is like I showed (laughs) everyone I sent it to our hot dog group chat I was like this is the cutest thing I have ever (laughs) seen and just your relationship like I think you just have such a close friendship yeah and I think that's the best thing is like you respect each other you care about one another you truly want the best for each other and i think it's just been really cool to see you guys grow together and so yes you're on the right right track (laughs) yeah good well that makes me happy yeah no it's just the best it's really cool thank you and i wish that for everyone to find that kind of person i do too and i think it's so cool that you guys have found each other so young and you've been able to grow up together yeah i think that's the biggest thing too it's like not only are we like growing as like ourselves but like growing together and Mm -hmm. i think that's like the biggest thing it's just like just so fun Mm -hmm. every every like path that we've had is like always like with each other but always like supporting each other if it's like Mm -hmm. something else like when i left school yeah like that too it's like he was so supportive even though he was there with me Mm -hmm. well and i'm sure too like that could have gone so many different ways. That's got to be so hard too, because I'm sure selfishly he probably would have been like, "I want to, I want you to stay here. Like, yeah, I want absolutely. you to be with me." But and he never once like made me feel like I had to, or like yeah. never like encouraged me to stay because he knew like it wasn't great for me. Mm-hmm. When I feel like that's a huge like testament to his character too, because totally. ultimately at the end of the day he just wanted you to be happy, and he was like, mm-hmm. "I can see that you're not happy here." Yeah. So that's a perfect segue to talk about dropping out of college. Mm -hmm. Like, I know this is a topic that I wanted to cover at some point, but like, I know, obviously, it sounds like you had Chase's full support, but like, did you ever feel like, oh, I'm worried about what mom and dad will think, or I'm worried about what anyone else will think, or like, what was your thought process? Like, how did you come to the conclusion of actually being like, okay, this is the the decision I'm going to make? Yeah. So I'll get backstory first. So... Graduated, no, graduated high school, thought, like, that, like, everyone's plan was just to go to college. Like, I thought that was just, like, the norm. It is. I mean, society teaches you once you graduate high school, you go to college. college. Like, that's, like, what, like, there's no doubt in my mind that I was, like, oh, I have, like, this is what I have to do. This is what I'm supposed to do. This is what I should do. Yeah, absolutely. So, I went to Wazoo for a year and a half, freshman year. I met some of, like, the best people in my life. Avery, shout out to you, girl. I love you. My freshman year roommate was, like, besides Chase, like, the one person that, like, just kept me grounded. Like, kept me, like, like just, like, made sure, like, everything I was feeling. Like, she just validated everything. She, like, knew what I was going through and just, like, made me feel so, like, hurt and seen and, like, just loved the girl to death. Like, just, I think, like, honestly, like, her and Chase at the end of the day were, like, the the reason I was there that long like honestly Mm -hmm. so went there freshman year hated it just felt like I couldn't find my place felt like I was so like not interested not excited wasn't fulfilling like I didn't know what I was supposed to be doing I was just like 
like questioning everything. And I would like call mom every day. I'd be literally crying. Like, I miss you. I miss my family. I miss being home. Like, I have never felt like this. I don't know like what this feels like, but like, I just feel so lonely when I have like my favorite people around me. Mm -hmm. Like, and like at that moment, I'm like, Chase is like, there with me every day. I'd be crying to him every day. And I'm like, this is just like so not right. Like something's wrong. Something's missing. I don't know what to do. And every day Chase would be like, like I'd be like sad. And Chase is like, call your mom. Like she always makes you feel better. Like you just mm-hmm. got to talk to her. And so I'd call her whatever. And it just like kept going. It's this ongoing cycle of like, I'm not happy. I don't love where I am. I hate my major. I was so excited about it. And I'm like, so let down, like nothing here is like fulfilling me and like I just feel like I'm wasting my time and I think that's what came down to it because I'm like I feel like in this life I can do so much more than what I'm doing right now and I feel like like genuinely I'm like it's a waste of my time like I don't know what I'm doing I like just going in circles I'm like okay I really need to figure this out so pushed out freshman year whatever did the whole thing it was fine went back sophomore year my first semester Same thing. I thought it'd get better. Like I kept like holding on to it because I thought it would get better Mm -hmm. and it didn't. And I was just like, okay, like this is, I'm never going to stop feeling like this until like I do something about it. Mm -hmm. And so Christmas time, winter break, I came home and I was just like, like I remember we were upstairs. I'm like literally crying to mom and I'm like, I don't want to go back. Like I I really don't want to go back. And I had, like, amazing friends. I had Chase, like I've been saying. And, like, they have, like, all of them were, like, you're not happy. Like, when yeah. are you going to realize, like, like mm-hmm. and, like, unfortunately, like, they're, like, when are you going to realize that this is, like, not for you? And, like, you can't keep forcing something that's never going to happen. And I don't think it hit me until mom was, like, I was, like, I kept saying, I'm, like, I don't want to go back. And she's, like, then why are you? Yeah. She's, like, literally, she's, like you hate it. You're not happy. Why are you doing this? And it's hard too when it's a decision that you have to make exactly, on your own instead exactly. of someone being like, I'm like, make my decision for me. Like, <laughs> know, tell me yeah. what I need to do because I, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. And so mom was just like, there's literally no reason keeping you there. Like you're so unhappy. Yeah. And she's like, if you're worried about Chase, you guys will make it. Like, yeah. there's no doubt in my mind. You guys will be fine. And I'm like, okay. The second, there, it was like one day we we're talking about it that night. I dropped all my classes and mm-hmm. I have never in my life felt so relieved. Mm-hmm. Like instantly like I was like, I just needed shoulders. someone to like, like I knew I wanted to leave. I, yeah. Everyone knew I wanted to leave, but I just needed that one validation to be like, just do it. Like you're mm-hmm. going to be fine. Like you're literally going to be fine. And so yeah. I was like, fuck it. I'm like done. I'm done. <laughs> I'm just going to be so yeah. happy. Like I'm going to be fine. I was so positive, whatever. Dropped out. And um, me and dad drove over to Pullman, got all my stuff out of my dorm room, came home the same day. And I was just, like, so relieved. Like, and then at that point, it's like I had still been crying, but I was, like, crying, like, of joy. Like, I was just, like, so happy. And then literally two months later, COVID hit, and all my best friends came home. Chase came home. It was, like, literally, like, God's plan. Like, the Mm -hmm. whole thing I could think of. And I still think about it. I'm, like, this is, like, literally what God wanted for me because, Mm -hmm. like, it all worked out in the end. And it always does. Like, like, and, like... Things like that, like that whole year and a half, I was like, this just doesn't make, nothing makes sense. Like, this does Mm -hmm. not make sense. This is not, like, bringing me any joy. I'm not happy. Like, why am I here? Like, what is this reason? Yeah. Like, if everything happens for a reason, what, what's the reason? Like, I just genuinely didn't understand it. And then COVID hit. Everyone came home. Like I said, I'm like, it all makes sense. Yeah. Like, this is, like, what was, like, made for me to do. Mm -hmm. And I just, like. Ever since then, like, obviously there's been, like, hard times trying to figure out what I want to do now. Like, moving yeah. on was, like, really – it was hard. It was, like, so bittersweet. I think that was the hard part. It's, like, I'm really glad I'm home. I'm glad I'm with, like, my family. Like, that was the biggest thing for me. But also, like, that doesn't mean that it, like, was easy. Yeah. And that's why it was, like, just a bummer that it didn't work out. But I don't know. I think everything makes sense in the end. And, and it really did. And – no, I feel like I'm like in such a, like such a better place. I didn't mm-hmm. even know I could be here. Like that's yeah. like the biggest thing is like at Wazoo, I was like the lowest of lows I've ever felt in my life. Yeah. And I never thought I could like be here. Right. And I'm like just really happy and really proud of myself. Well, and that's the craziest thing too. And you should be super proud of yourself because that is such a hard decision to make because society puts so much pressure on us. Yeah. We put so much pressure on ourselves. We think our parents put so much pressure on us Uh or our siblings or seeing what other people have done before us. And I think the biggest thing is like, 
in society, literally growing up, we're taught you graduate high school, you, you go, go to, to college, college, you get That's married, you, you have kids, yeah. you do this. Your life is planned for you. Yeah. And anyone who wants to stray from that goes through those mental challenges of thinking, wait a minute, I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm not on the path that was paved for yeah. me and I should feel bad for it. And like my question, like follow-up question to you is like, if you had trusted your intuition and your gut, how long do you think you actually would have stayed at WSU? Maybe six months. Yeah. If that. Mm -hmm. Like, I think I, like, kept holding on to it because I thought it'd get better. Yeah. And it never did. And I'm like, what am I doing? Like, and literally, what am do I doing? Do you think that because of, like, oh, society tells you college is the best time of your life. Like, this is going to be the most fun. Like, yeah. you're supposed to be with your best friends. Or do you feel like it was, like, other pressures? Or did you ever feel like mom and dad would judge you for dropping out? Or do you ever feel like they would be disappointed? Or did you ever feel like your friend group would be like, what the hell are you doing, Alexis? Yeah. Like, what's going on? Yeah. I know. I think a lot of that. Like, first off, mom and dad, I never felt, like, pressure from them to go to school. I think mom was, like, my number one supporter of being, like, if you're not happy, why are you there? Like, I I don't care if you go to college. I don't care if you graduate high school. Like, all these things. Like, like from mom and dad was beyond, like, unconditional love. Like, I could do the worst thing in the world and they'd love me. Like, everything would be fine. And that's the thing is, like, I never felt pressure from them or anything. But then I – was lucky enough to have like an amazing friend group and I still mm -hmm. do like we still talk all the time every day like I just like love every single one of them but they all had great experience oh, well almost all of them yeah. had great experiences in college and I'm like well why am I not getting why am I not feeling that like what am I yeah. doing and I think that was my my biggest thing I was like what can I do to make this better like I'm like I just need to stick it out it'll get better it'll be fine like and all my college friends were like loving it like obviously it's like different. Like you go through like college experiences, like you try and figure out like your place almost. Yeah. And it's like a lot of them had, but I hadn't and I didn't know what I was doing wrong or like I thought like it was me. Like that yeah. was the whole thing is I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I can do better to make me feel happy again. Like mm -hmm. I don't know what to do. And I think I just, like, held on to the fact that, like, if I stuck it out, I'd be fine. Mm -hmm. Like, I'd be fine. It'd be fun. Yeah. I'd be happy again. Like, I just need to give it time because I wasn't used to it. Mm -hmm. But, like, it just never it just never happened. And I yeah. think that's why I was there that long because I'm, like, just I was just waiting. Yeah. And it never came. And I was, like, okay, I'm done. Like, well, and I feel like what that's more something, is this going to bring? I feel like that's something you touched on earlier, too, saying, like, God places you in a situation for a reason. Totally. And, like... I think back to like me struggling with so much anxiety, like, and mom just kept telling me like, you're going through this and it's not going to last forever, but yeah. you might be able to help someone someday. And yeah. I feel like I look at that situation too. Like you might be able to help a number of people drop out of college way earlier yeah, than they drop would out, have. Everyone. Drop out. College sucks. No, no, <laughs> like, no. But like looking yeah. at that from that perspective, like you might be able to help people yeah. realize like, wait, I'm not in a position where like I'm being myself fully or I'm yeah. not able to fulfill like what actually makes me happy. And I think it's just such a huge thing. And I wanted to come back to this point too. Like you said, um, time you talked about time and like I don't have a lot of time on this earth and yeah. for I feel like our family or at least you Jake and I as a whole have thought about that from a very young age yeah. and I think it's because we've lost so, so many, many people. people so young that we've yeah. had a really I mean I guess good perspective on like time and like how much yeah. Like we realize you do really have one life. We are not promised tomorrow. Life is so short. Life is so short and you might as well be spending it with the people that you love and people who make you feel good. And just being happy. And being happy yeah. and doing what you love and like thinking about – and I think that's why I'm able to let go of like things that w might ruin your whole day yeah. or bother you because I realize like in the grand scheme of things, this is not something that matters yeah. that much. Absolutely. But I think, I mean, even thinking about yesterday was our cousin Mackie's 10-year anniversary of passing away. And he was 21 when he passed away, so he would have been 31. Yeah. And it's it's just so... Just heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking when you lose someone that was supposed to live a full life. 
or even thinking yeah. about our papa passing away at 70 like we still look at 70 as so young yeah like it's you're that's not so it's like the hardest thing to think about yeah like every i think every relationship we had with like our grandparents and Mackie and the people that we've lost in our lives and it's just like it like it will never get easier no it's always gonna be hard it's always mm-hmm. gonna be like like for me like I'm just like I always think about it like it's mm-hmm. so sad and it's like just so shitty that we like that we have to feel that way that people that are like close to them like I think Kate I know and Aunt Julie and Uncle Jamie like those people that like and like grandma like yeah and dad like everyone that's like gone through like that's like your immediate family like Mm -hmm. it's just it's just horrible like I I just can't even like believe it like it's just it's just horrible it's so Mm -hmm. hard to think about because like you think of like where they'd be now yeah and you wonder how much time we would have been able to spend with them how many memories would we be able to have yeah and it's like Mackie like when I when he passed away I was in sixth grade like Mm -hmm. I was 12 and I was 17 so I like vividly remember yeah everything it's and so like shitty. i just put myself in kate's shoes our cousin kate who is mackie's sister like i just think about that like i can't even imagine losing you or jake no and like how that it's would horrible. affect everything and i think yeah. too like trying to put a positive spin on it like being grateful for the time we did have with him but it's, absolutely it's so hard to not but how be can angry you do that? yeah or to not be upset. how can you do that when it's like it doesn't seem right yeah it doesn't feel right and it's no. like as much as you want to think of the positives like it's so not easy to do but i think yeah. it's just like a good perspective of realizing like we really don't know how much time we have here and just being grateful for what we have and yeah, honestly absolutely. going after anything that we want and dropping out of college and going after oh, yeah. like a job that you actually are fulfilled by. I feel like it's such a huge, like it's, it's a mindset and not yeah. a lot of people are able to do that. And I feel so lucky that you and I were able to do that so young. And like going back to the conversation of dropping out of college, I only lasted a month. Yeah. <laughs> you I lasted a year and a half. I made experience? it 30 days. I... Like, but you, yeah, but that's another thing I feel like when we talked about in the beginning of like you knowing, like, I don't know, I just feel like you knew right away that shit was not for you. Yeah. And I'm like so just like proud of you that you were just like, okay, I'm done. Like, this is not worth it. Mm-hmm. This is not fulfilling. I'm done. Yeah. And I feel like I held on to it so much longer for what? Yeah. Like, like imagine if I like started cosmetology school way before I did, I'd be out. I'd be doing mm-hmm. hair right now. Like, I'd be in a salon. Like, all this stuff is like you started your career so early and like yeah you don't understand how many how many like even me like just, just so jealous that like you were so strong to do that mm-hmm. and you knew what you wanted to do and you did it yeah. and like that's like amazing i feel like, like that's the only thing so i've amazing. ever been good at like actually making decisions about it's like what i want to do job wise but that's <laughs> just being like but okay like, if you think about it there's so many people that literally don't know what they want to do yeah so like that I is know. like amazing like mm-hmm. seriously like even still i'm like I know what I want to do, but, like, I don't know where I want to go. I don't yeah. know what I want to do in the, like, the grand scheme of things. Like, mm-hmm. in, like, 10 years. I'm like, where well, the hell am I going to be? Well, I think that's what's great about it is you get but to you change know. your mind. You get to move your path. Yeah. Like, I don't know where I want to live 10 years from now. I don't want to know where I want to live two years from now. Like, yeah. you know, I might change my mind. And I think that's what's so cool about life is you literally get to create whatever life you want. You get to create whatever personality you want. You get to create yeah. whatever character you want. Like, and I think that was so- something that, I realized when I lived in LA right outside of high school because going to a small school like we did, everybody knew your name, everybody knew where you were from, everybody had a preconceived idea of who you were. Like everyone knew everyone. Yeah, everyone knew everyone and they knew all your business and it was uncomfortable. But when I lived in LA, it was like I realized nobody knew who I was and I could create this person that I wanted to be. And I think people have to understand you don't have to move somewhere to do that you don't have to do anything like you can create whoever you want to be and so like to your point of like when I did go to WSU 30 days in I I was this literally the same as you I was crying in the shower I was crying in my dorm room but I was doing it all alone and I had all my best friends there just like you did and like I should have been happy there i should have had a good time and of course like the parties were fun yeah and like i had a good like i had a good time yeah Yeah, great night out but not like intuitively in my gut i knew i was not supposed to be there yeah and like i went rogue and i called mom 
on my literally day 30 of being there, I called mom and I said, so I unenrolled myself. I packed up all my stuff and I'm coming home right now. And she was like, what? Dude, you don't even understand when that happened though. I was so happy. Like I was like, just like, I don't even know how to explain it. I was like, oh my God, like my best friend's going <laughs> home. Like, is this real? Like, I was so happy. And then immediately after you're like, wait, I have to share my room again. I know. Like, Hold on. Sucked. <laughs> yeah. I feel like this is a good segue into like us Our fighting. relationship. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Okay, I'll go. No, I'll go. So when we were younger, I'll say this. Kenzie you was like. worshipped me. Shut up. Kenzie was like my most favorite best friend my f- like my first person in my life I looked up to I wanted to do everything she did because I was six years old and you were 12 right like yeah. that's like the cool that's normal old. totally I'm like oh my gosh she's cooler she's older like I want to be her then like you get into high school and like I start hanging out with your high school friends like Jenny all the girls who feel yeah. so welcomed and like they wanted to like entertain me until I went to bed like just like hung out with you guys and I'm like this is so fun like I love this mm-hmm. and then well, and I was like equally obsessed with you so it was always fun yeah no it was so fun yeah and then so like our relationship I mean it's like mind you I don't want this to like be like bad talking like we've, we've always been great but we were so so good when we were young because mm-hmm. then we shared a room then and that is when it was super room, shitty and that's when we hated each other yeah because I'm that someone sucks. who can set one alarm. Shut up. And I can turn it off <laughs> and I can get right up and I'm ready for my day. Oh my God. This bitch has to have eight alarms every three minutes and they go off yeah. and they go off and they go off and they go off. But she's such a deep sleeper that she does not wake up. So I used to grab a pillow and throw it at her. Yeah, she was or so Or yell mean. at her because I didn't have to get up for like another hour or something because she was still in high school. And at that point, I was done with school. You were like lashing away. I was lashing away. Yeah. And then and I had to wake up so like seven. it was irritating. And then she would just yell at me and then I would yell at her. No, no. We'd get in so many fights. Like still, I'll show you. My alarms. I'll show you. Look at my alarms. Okay. Can they see? Okay, S- let's go up to here. Okay. I want you guys to Six comment 15. on this video or DM me if you're listening to the audio and tell me if you're a one alarm kind of person or a 10 alarm kind of yeah. person. Okay, 615, 620, 625, 630, 633, 640, 645. Like just like in f- minutes of like five in- increments. Like I just don't I, I can't wake up if I don't do that. Like this is what I do for school. Now I do 655, 7, 705, 710, 715, 720. And I have to leave the house at 735. Like, yeah. And like I used to do what, like sometimes I still do if I like stay up late. I like plug my phone in and like chuck, like I have a long charger. So I like chuck it across the room. So you have to get so up. So I have to get up to turn it off. You should have done that when we shared a room. Yeah, I didn't think about it till like now. So no, sorry. we like hated each other for a okay, while. Okay, honestly, like anytime that was I came, like, you. like any- I was fine with that. <laughs> yeah, because you had a hundred alarms. Yeah, and no, it was waking me up. Yeah, sorry. Well, sorry, but okay. No, also another thing, we had like one. So obviously, it was like a single room, but it was like a little bit bigger. But there's yeah. one closet, so yeah. we would we split the closet that half and half. Mine was on the left, yours was on the right. This woman would literally go in my closet and wear everything of mine and not ask me, not tell me she's wearing it. And I would literally. But I wouldn't have gotten mad if you did that to my stuff. So different. So different. So different. So different. You know, it's different. I literally would come home and I'm like, oh, cool. You're wearing my sweatshirt. That's really dope. Thank you. And then I would get irritated. I'm like, why wouldn't you just ask me? You know that would bother me. You should have like, because you would have said no. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, because apparently you. I'm someone who would rather ask for forgiveness than permission. Yeah, no, not me, not me. So different. How did you end up the rule follower? Because I'm my mom's kid. <gasps> Speaking of mom, mommy. Mom. Hi, baby. <laughs> hi. She's so cute. Do you want to come say hi? Yeah, okay. We were just talking about you. <laughs> Yeah, it's a little scary. Okay, it's a little scary. Yeah. Well, okay, I think I'm I'm not even, like, the rule follower. I just feel like me and mom are so the same. We're, like, like if I were, like, to do something and be, like, hey, Kenzie, is this okay? And be, like, sure. I'm, like, okay, now I feel okay. If I did it, like, 
and didn't ask her, I'd be like feeling so guilty all day. I'm like, this sucks. I don't want to live this way. Like, mm-hmm. or that's where we're different. Well, I feel like a I, huge thing. I know. I feel like I feel that way too, but I also like look at it like I don't think this is going to if I don't look at it yeah. like a big deal I um, I assume that the other person doesn't look at it like a big deal so I'm like oh if they're upset by it I'll just be like oh sorry, sorry. I love you yeah. <laughs> like no, don't that. hate me forever <laughs> yeah but no I get that I don't know I feel like you balance me out for sure like I feel like my emotions are always heightened and I'm like very sensitive and like you're very like grounded in the way that you feel you're very confident in like your emotions and like I don't know. I feel like that's just, like, us being, like, very good for each other. Yeah. Yeah. Best friends forever. Forever. Yeah, but then, once you moved out of that house... Or, no, once... Wait, once I... Did you move out? No, no, you were I here. came here with yeah. you guys, yeah. Okay, so we moved here. Had, and then we had different rooms. Had different rooms. Then we really got along And then we again. were homies again. Yeah. And then you moved out, and I was like, oh, my gosh, what am I going to do with my life? I don't have anyone to talk to. I swear, like, like, you, Jake, and I would still bicker when I was here because we were just all here all the time. We shared the same bathroom. Us three, a tiny bathroom. No, I know. Yeah, that was tough. Even me and Jake sharing a bathroom now, I'm like, I want to die. I know. Well, and then when I moved into the other house two miles down the road, I swear I heard from you and Jake so much more than I ever did. You guys were like, are you coming over? Or can yeah. I come over? Like, can I see no, you? No, it's just still to this day. Yeah. I always, I'm like, if I don't like, if it's like early, I'm like, I haven't talked to you yet. I'm like, have you talked to Kenzie? Like, is she going to come over for dinner tonight? Yeah. And mom's like, hey, No, yeah. No. You guys are I'm always like, like are you her. coming over for dinner? I'm like, I can't yeah. come over for dinner every night. Like, I have the dogs. It's but like, like crazy. Like, <laughs> you know. There's no reason not to. But it's honestly, so like, that was such a huge thing for me. I was like, wait, they do like hanging out with me. They do love Shut me. Shut up. No. It's just because we didn't get along and we were like sharing a room. Is that Lauren? Who in the hell would ring the doorbell? <laughs> Probably Lauren. Pause. Pause. Ding dong. Ding dong. Ooh, oh, I've got a good it's question. a package. Oh my gosh, I have shoes a coming. Should we unbox on the pod? Yeah. They're little Uggs, if you guys want to see. Oh, cute. Um, <gasps> oh, it is Lauren. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, my gosh. I love it. All right. Quiet. Quiet on set. I'm kidding. Um, why do you put up with me? Because you're stuck? Because I have we're blood. to. <laughs> yeah. Because I, I have to. Because I have to. my sister. Do I have to put up with you? You're not that bad. Describe a time you were accidentally mortified by your parents. Oh my gosh. Or you mortified them. Was there a time you mortified mom or dad? Dude. Um, Is there a time Jake was embarrassing? I think back to that picture of him at Disneyland with the two swords on top. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. He's like sitting on top of a Dumbo statue and he's like, like literally crazy. I remember crazy. the time we were in freaking Hawaii at the Dole Whip whatever thing uh-huh. and there's like the oh, there's a sign it like it's like the name or whatever of the place we were at and you and jake are hugging on one side i'm, I'm on the other <laughs> side like and i'm like when you're that third <laughs> friend like oh so shitty gosh, that's right i like, remember thanks, guys no that i think like funny. not even like mortified but i always like when i hear stuff like that i like think about like when i used to like have to cover for you all the time and like in the greenhouse like our first Edmonds house when you'd sneak out all the fucking time i know because you're just crazy i still can't girl. believe i did that no i know and i would literally like lay in your bed i know and I, and dad i remember one time i still talk to dad and mom about it i'm like dad came into your room one time and when you were gone and i slept in your room and he thought i was you and it was just like but didn't funny. he ask didn't wasn't he like where's kenzie no, no. he was like night mackenzie you like, like uh-huh. night, love you. <laughs> and then, like, I told him, like, a few years later. And that was, like, another time where, like, you snuck me in the house because I was scared of mom yes, and dad. Yes, yes. And I told them. I, like, felt so guilty. I, like, told them, like, a year later. I was, like, remember that time? Mom- <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> and they were, like, I remember, like, talking, I think, to mom. And she's, like, have you ever snuck out? Snuck out? I'm, like, no, but I've snuck in. <laughs> They're, like, what the hell? <laughs> Why? I just remember the when you outed me. When we were at the house that we shared a room, when you said that I snuck out all the time, I think I was like, I think I was like 21 at this point. And but like talking about the greenhouse, talking about the greenhouse okay. when I used to sneak out when I was 17. And I was like, Lulu, I thought we were that was like till death. I thought we were taking that to the grave. Oh, hell no. It's like I, funny, though. Yeah. It's like funny. Mom now. and dad did not think it was funny for a minute. 
Dad thought it was hilarious. I know dad did because I told the story. Actually, about yeah, the, dad yeah. was like, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. I don't care. Like, she came well, back. Well, you're alive, fine now. Obviously. So it's like, whatever. Well, what's crazy is my my room was on the second floor. So I had to take my screen off the Dude. window. I you had, had to, to jump on I the top to, of the fence. I had to get on my bed and climb out the window and like scale the roof and then <laughs> jump on the tiny fence and jump down. And Mom's I was, like shaking Mom's her head, shaking right her head now. in the corner. And I remember one time. I came back and dad was leaving for work. It was like 5.30 in the morning. Wait, shut something. up. I have not heard this. <laughs> I had to hide behind the trailer for him to leave for then me to jump back up. Shut in the house. up. I didn't know But it was when that. I worked at Dimitri, so I wasn't working till 4 p.m. So I would just stay out all night and then I would sleep till like 2. My <laughs> like, mom's like still scared. My mom's like, you're grounded. Girl, it's like 10 years ago. It's okay. <laughs> Literally 10 Don't years ago. Me. Oh my gosh, that makes me feel really old. No. Oh my gosh, it is 10 years ago. I thought you were just saying that. No, it is 10 years ago. No, that's fine. That's so funny. Yeah, that was fun. No, I loved when you were in high school. Yeah. No, I think that, yeah, just really lucky to have you. And I feel like we've definitely grown a lot more since we stopped sharing a room. No, yeah, I think so too. Like, especially I feel like in the last like year or two too, like, I don't you know. You being able to go out with us. Yeah, I think it's been a lot of fun. Huge, yeah. Well, and I think it's so fun too that my friend group loves you so much. Like I love how much the guys love you. I love how I much know. Lauren and Anne love you. And like and I feel the <laughs> same way about like Lauren's sister. And, oh my god, I love You know, Hannah. like I love Hannah and Hannah's Coleman. Like, yeah. And I think it's so fun the group yeah. that we've created literally what, like five months ago, we just yeah. all started hanging out. It's just like, fun. Like it's so easy to be together. Like it's so fun. All the, like, everyone just, like, I don't know. It's just always a good time. You're always laughing. Like, that's – and, like, even on my birthday when all – like, you and the boys came to the cabin, like, like, honestly, that was, like, my favorite part of my day because I'm just, like, every single conversation we have, we're literally crying laughing. I'm, like, that is, like, the best thing, like – in the whole entire world is just being around people that you love and, like, are laughing with and everything's fun, like – there's there's nothing better than that. Yeah. Like, I was just so, so nervous because I thought you were going to be embarrassed of us coming over. And no, I, I wanted to I choose so bad. I begged the boys. I was like, can yeah. we please go say hi? And then poor Brayden, he's here Brayden. right now on set. <laughs> he was like, all of us were just getting drunk and he stayed sober so he could drive us home. Shout out, Bray. Shout um, out, Bray. But I was like, I just want to hang out with Lulu. We ended up staying all day. We went out on the boat. We went out on the jet skis. Had dinner. And had dinner and just had so much fun. And like, I think. But like, that's what I wanted. Like, yeah. if, if I could like have like one thing on my birthday, it would be like just to like be surrounded by the people I love and like mm-hmm. want to be with. And that's like exactly what happened. And I'm like. Just really thankful you guys like came. Yeah, no, it was we, a really good we day. had so much fun. I had so much fun. I know. Like I'm, I'm it was really just glad. funny. Like it was just like such a funny day. Like yeah. I don't know. Well, and I think Everything that's what's so cool good. about like the group that we've created is everybody's just good vibes all the time. Always good energy and just always like fun. Everybody like, just always wants down to, have to fun. do whatever. Yeah. I'm like, you guys want to take a green tea shot? Every single person's like, yes. I'm down, I'm down. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Well, everybody needs to find a group like Hot Dogs oh, and yeah. Snow Day. Snow Day, Snow Day. Yeah. No Hot Dogs, Snow Day. Yeah. For those Me and Hannah who, Coleman, Snow Lulu, Day. Lulu, do you want to tell them what Snow Day is for the people who don't know? Snow Day. It's the best group chat you'll ever be in in your entire life. That's all you need to know. <laughs> best group chat you'll never be in. Yeah, you'll never be in. <laughs> no, just joking. <laughs> But no, Kenzie and her it's our hot dog old group. friends that are almost 30. Sorry, Bray. <gasps> All adopted. Me and Hannah and Coleman. Just good and vibes. Chase. Chase and Chase. Chase is adopted Oh, yeah, too. fuck. Chase is still in there, too. <laughs> Chase over text. So I just, like, forget. But I know. It's just good vibes. But, yeah, it's just a big group chat of us. Mm-hmm. And it's just fun. Like, it's always – it's, like, Whatever everyone's always out. down. I Like, I'll text you, yeah. and I'm, like – oh, I'm going on Edmonds. Like, what are you guys doing? And you're like, oh, I'll like talk to them. Everyone always goes out. Always. Mm -hmm. And Tyler and Brayden, all the guys are like, oh, Lulu said it's Edmonds night. It's Edmonds night. I'm like, Do you think it's because we all have too much FOMO that we like have to go wherever everybody's going? Or do you think we all just love each other so much we just want to hang out? I'm like, I think that just everyone just wants to be together. Like, it's just like, it's so fun. I don't know. Always good vibes around. Yeah. Yeah. So if anyone sees us out at Ingles or Chandler, yeah, come to Ingles. Or Rory's, We're always there. Come hang out with us. Ingles is the best. Worries is fun. Taki's fun. Yeah. Channel's like last resort for me. I'm like, yeah. meh. Yeah. King's people. Bobby isn't there anymore, so. 
Wait, shut up. Bobby's at Rory's now. <gasps> Did you oh, not know that? What? Yeah. Okay, well, I went there the other night when I went with Nola and Jake and Claire and all of them. And there was this girl, like, training this guy. And he kept, like, fucking up every order. And, at, like, the last the, – he, they were like, okay, last call, whatever. I went up and I bought two, like, beers for me and Claire. And the guy, like, opened two. And, but the girl was doing my order, so she opened two. And so there's four. And I was – and she was, like, pissed. And I'm like – I'm like, I'll like, buy we'll those other them. two. Well, I was like, I'll buy the other two. Like, I know. I'm like, this is really inconvenient for you. Like, I'll just get them both. Or, like, get all four of them. And she's like, are you sure? I'm like, dude, it's easy. I'm like, it's fine. It's not that big we'll of a deal. We'll drink them. We're yeah. going to come back up so in an hour for another So I brought two to Nola and her friend. I'm like, can you guys, I'm like, can you please drink these? <laughs> like, I'm not going to drink them. They're like, hell yeah. I'm like, this is so good. But I have, the like, like, the last, like, four times I've been at Channel, Bobby hasn't been there. So yeah. was, that's why he's not there anymore. Crazy. Well, I feel like worries is popping off that's fine you know their food's actually pretty good i know you do i've always loved their food yeah. that's funny not bad yeah anything else you'd like to talk about mm. i love you i love you Thanks thank for you for coming me. on the pod yeah i'm so glad too many more girl too many more we'll have you back we'll have the people maybe we'll do a live lash one i could be lashing hell you. no no not eyes closed because you'd rather be drinking no. yeah. <laughs> on the actual pod yeah no i don't even like doing live instagram videos i know you don't yeah all right well i think that concludes our episode mm -hmm. thank you so much lulu for coming on i'm glad we got to talk about dropping out of college I'm glad we got to talk about mindset of things and like yep. honestly looking at how life is short and you get to do whatever you want and you get to build the life you want you get to build the person you want to be and life is short you got to be happy yeah how to do what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe, like, write us a review for a chance to win a t-shirt, and we'll see you in the next one.